Hello, my name is Dolores Jones. I'm a critical care nurse. Today's video is about continuous renal replacement therapy calculations, better known as CRT, on the electronic medical record. Let's begin with the time slot of 8 a.m. You will see the net cumulative INO is minus 1,000. Next, we will move to the CRT calculations. Line number one, the hourly net INO is 290. How did we derive at that number? I have developed an INO flow sheet, which I'm going to zoom into, to show you at 8 a.m. The INO intake was total of 300 ml, and the output was 10 ml. So if you subtract the intake of 300 ml from 10 ml, you get an hourly net INO of 290 ml. So you will place that figure in line number one, hourly net INO. The next line is CRT active fluid removal. To retrieve this number, you will have to go to the history in the CRRT machine, the prison flex. Under history, you will determine how much was removed the previous hour. So I am stating that the previous hour, the CRT removed 300 ml. You place that in line number two. It is very important after you place this number before moving to line number three that you will have to file this. There's a computer glitch. If you don't file it, then your fluid removal rate will be inaccurate. Instead of 390, it will double to removal rate of 690 ml. So you place in line number three, CR2 fluid removal for calculation is 300. Hopefully they will correct this computer glitch in the near future. Line number four, the hourly INO and CRT fluid removal for calculation now returns to 290 ml. Desire loss. The desire loss is determined by the physician. So please check your doctor's order to determine how much they want to be removed. The desire loss is, is an additional extra amount of fluid to remove that particular hour. And it's generally between 25 ml up to 150 ml. But please check your doctor's order to determine how much extra fluid want to be removed from the patient. Blood and collar to remove is zero. Fluid removal rate is 390. This number 390 is what you're going to program the Prism Flex machine under rate removal of 390. Now let's go to the 10 o'clock time slot. The net cumulative INO is now negative 1580. The hourly net INO is only 130. And why is that? The reason why, if we return back to the INO flow sheet that I developed, you would notice that the NG2 put out 100 ml that hour. And because of that, our net INO is only 130 ml. The CRT active fluid removal was 280. Valid. Number three, CRT fluid removal for calculation is 280. Hourly INO CRT fluid removed for calculation is now 130. Desire loss 100. So no blood or colloid. The fluid removal rate is now 230. I would like for you now to note that at 11:30, the I intake and output net cumulative is now minus 1,510. And why is that? Well, I am speculating that maybe the doctor gave the patient a unit of blood, a packed red blood cell, a 300 ml. Please check with your doctor's order to determine. There consists of some rules. Rule number one is that always check with the doctor to determine if the blood and collars need to be calculated 
in the CRT calculation. Majority of time in our facility, the doctors do not want you to include this into the INO. Otherwise, when your fluid removal rate would, would include the 300 ml of PAC RB stays. So instead of 11 o'clock removing 290, you'll be removing 590. And another thing is important rule really, to remember is that when you are calculating your intake and output, always do it at the top of the hour exactly. 11 a.m., not 11.15, 11.30. Otherwise, the computer will not calculate your intake and output correctly. So, if you want to document blood that you give, which is very important data to share with your healthcare workers, place that the, the amount of blood or collars that you receive at 1130 and that will prevent the CRT calculation on the computer including this into the intake and output. Another important factor to remember is that in, to, in the intake and output calculations of the CRT, we do not include citrate, dialysate, and replacement fluids. The Prisma Flex machine performed these calculations. I hope this video has been helpful, and good luck.